Tis the season for apricots. You can just munch on a few, or you can use them to create mouth-watering desserts. Our next guest prefers the latter. Joining us with some delicious treats is pastry chef and member of the Culinary Olympics, Dean Croft. Welcome, Dean. Thank you, Donna. Now, how about shopping for apricots? Apricots? <laughs> we, we, we had a little dispute apricots, before the show right. started. Um, you prefer apricot, but... Apricot is fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how do you shop for them? Well, you have to go for the uh, nice, round... Uh, plump ones, they're usually all, you know, pretty symmetric, mm -hmm. but um, firm because if we get them home, they're going to ripen pretty quick. But some people buy them like, if, if there's any green on it, should you buy that? If they're they're going to ripen. They they're are going to ripen. How do you yeah. get them to ripen? Is you just put them on your counter. Just put them on the counter. Let them go. Not you know? in the fridge. No fridge, no bag, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, now, I have to tell you a little story about okay. apricots. I grew up in, in, uh, in junior high school and high school in a suburb that had been built in a former apricot orchard. Uh -huh. Everybody had at least one apricot tree in their front yard for months. It was apricot jam, apricot there we go. cake, apricot, jam. apricot this, this. <laughs> and you couldn't give it away to your neighbors because <laughs> right. they all had apricot trees too. Anyway, okay. but I never saw anything quite this beautiful. So tell us what you've created. Well, I have a uh, apricot souffle, which Ooh. is frozen. Oh, this is gorgeous. Which is really nice for like the uh, weekend barbecue. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, dried apricot dipped in chocolate, mm -hmm. Swiss chocolate. Mm. And uh, the apricot flan. Apricot flan. Yes. How, would, how do you make this? Well, this I did a dough um, I combined two doughs, pie dough and cookie dough, mm -hmm. and it came out like a firm let's shortbread. Let's this way to the camera. And uh, mm -hmm. so it's a little more strength than just the pie dough. Mm -hmm. So I used that combination and, uh, you know, got a firm dough in there and then pre-baked the dough about three-quarters of the way. Okay. And then made a custard, put the apricots in, poured the custard on top, and baked that off about 30 minutes. Oh, you serve that and you make everybody happy. Right, right. right. So what do you do on the top? Glaze it with apricot glaze. Glaze it with apricot. And, and is this... What is this? Apricot jam. The plain old, I recognize this. <laughs> many, many pieces of toast with that on it. Not interested. Thank you. Thank you. But, but, but <laughs> there, there was in the Culinary Olympics in 1911, so. Okay. Uh, Let's do the recipe. All right. What you quick, here. We're doing an apricot fruit strip. Mm -hmm. So I did the uh, Italian cream custard with whipped cream. Oh. All right. And uh, put the apricots there on top that I have already prepped. Mm -hmm. And apricots are... Yeah, how do you get the pit out? What is well, the best way? Well, the pit way? is just after you cut the apricot in half, just to, uh, you know, pull that, pull it apart and then pull the pit out. And the with, pit with your fingers, is, you just... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the pit is poisonous. Okay? Okay, be aware so of that. if anybody's trying to feed you apricot pits, mm -mm. get no, away. No interest. Okay, <laughs> okay, so you're, you're glazing that now? You're glazing that, right. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Now, tell us about the Culinary Olympics. Okay, coming up. Uh, September 8th to the 12th is the Culinary Olympics where you have the black belts of chefs coming from all around the world to compete in all the different categories of hot food, cold food, pastry, which is my specialty, mm -hmm. and diet food, and also vegetarian, which is the team that I'm with, mm -hmm. is an all vegetarian team. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to, like, you know, show people, you know, to eat better, you know, not all the time, don't be vegetarians all the time, but, you know, you can change your diet a little bit during the week to, uh, facilitate that. Is, is, so. there, is there a history to apricots getting back to our fruit? Well, there is. Apricots go back 5,000 years in China. They started in China, they went to India, Tibet, and they came to Europe. And they like the Mediterranean background. Mm -hmm. They, they um, really get on along good with that. So uh, then they come here, and uh, they, we get 90% of our apricots from California. But, which is where I grew right. up. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, entirely so. consistent. Well, thank you. All of this is beautiful. Good luck Thanks. in the Culinary Olympics. Thanks. We know you'll represent us well. That's right. Okay, good. Okay. <gasps>